All right, so for our next experiment, uh, what we're going to do is kind of blink this out. I'm just going to close this out and then go back and load up a bare minimum sketch. And then go ahead and compile it and send it right over to the Arduino unit. Bam, that's going to shut the light off. All right, now that's on and off. It's either 5 volts or 0 volts. But what if I wanted to make that thing, let's say, half of 5 volts, maybe 2.5 volts or something like that? Can I do that? Well, not really. Um, but what I can do is control the fading to the point of it looks like it's 2.5 volts. Okay, let's, let's look at what that means. First off, this one is a little different. We're going to have to dictate the pin. Um, so we're going to write an initial LED pin equals 9. Okay. So now, anytime we, we use the word LED pin, it really means 9. For the setup, we don't do anything. Well, what if we have to dictate an output? Well, we're not. We're going to not dictate an output. The output's going to be handled via analog write, not digital write. So we do not have to dictate it. So we'll use the new command, analog write. LED pin and a number. Let's say the number is like five, just for entertainment's sake. Just like that. Let's compile that. And write it over. Oh. So what happened here? Well, what I'm going to, what I'm doing here is actually a trick of the eye. Um, I'm turning on and off this thing at an incredible rate to the point where it looks like it's half lit. Here, let's make it fully lit by using 255 as a value. Perfect. So you can see that now I have complete control over if it's half dim, dim, bright, and everything else using the analog write feature. That's very powerful. Um, let's take, for example, a motor, right? Let's say I wanted the motor to go, oh, just slow. Okay, well, I could write a number here to dictate slow. I could write a 5 in here. Or if I wanted it to go fast, I could write a 255 to be full out 4. So I could control a motor or an LED. But the fact is, I am controlling the amount of time it takes to turn on and off. Not telling it to, say, be 2.5 volts or 5 volts. It's still 5 volts. It's just the matter of fact that I'm having this little micro uh, guy turn on and off the switch a billion times per second to show that this is um, either lit or fully lit. All right. So that's analog write. We'll look at another thing we could do with the analog write feature here in the next video.